In this lesson, I'll show you how to use transformations to sketch the graphs of rational functions. Remember what a rational function is. It is a function that is made up of two polynomials that are divided by each other, and we see that right here. To be successful at these types of questions, it doesn't hurt to know what the graphs of 1 over x and the function 1 over x to the power of 2. And if you haven't had a chance to see what they look like, they are on your screen right now. And the one we're trying to model is the one to your right because the one to your right is one over x to the power of two, and we have that configuration here. So given that we have in parentheses x plus three raised to the power of two, the first thing that I'll do is horizontally shift the graph of y is equal to one over x squared to the left three units to obtain the graph of y is equal to one over x plus three raised to the power of two. Remember, when this part is positive, then we move to the left, and if it were negative, we would shift to the right. So I'll pick a few random points along this curve, namely this one, that one, and two others as reference points, this and that. And like I mentioned, I'll be shifting this three units to the left. This point will be one, two, three, right over here. And this point should be right here. And similarly, one, two, three, and one, two, three, right here. One thing to keep in mind based on one of our previous lessons was that if the denominator has a higher degree than the numerator, then expect a horizontal asymptote at y is equal to zero. And we see that right here. Notice that the graph does not pass through y is equal to zero given the function one over x plus three raised to the power of two. Now we haven't taken into account the negative two and the plus one we will soon, but for now keep this in mind. This is what your graph should look like. Now in our next transformation, look at the function again, what I will do is vertically stretch the graph by a factor of two to obtain the graph y is equal to two over x plus three raised to the power of two. A vertical stretch here means that the y outputs will occur in this case two times faster. So expect the graph to look a little wider than the blue one. Think about it. If this point occurs two times faster, rather than it being here, it's over here. Similarly, this point would be two times that value, which is up here. It would just get fatter, essentially. What you see in green is that second transformation. The third transformation, taking a look at the function again, is the reflection. And this is caused by the fact that the two is negative two. What this will do is it will flip the way the graph looks like so that it's facing down as opposed to facing up. And this is what it should look like. Notice what I did. I simply switched all the y outputs so that rather than them being, let's say positive, they become negative. Okay, now we're on to our last transformation being this plus one. This plus one will shift all the y outputs along this purple curve up by one. This will change the horizontal asymptote from being y is equal to zero to y is equal to one because everything gets shifted up. Let's take two reference points that goes up. Now it's there. This point goes up and you would have something. Let me try to connect these and the same thing for this. So as you can see, it doesn't reach one and it will have the same vertical asymptote had you found it. The graph that you see on your screen is the new graph given all of these transformations. And there you have it. That is how to use transformations to sketch the graphs of rational functions.